introducing a new series, the Warrior Cats Art Show. It's the same Warrior Cats challenges you're used to, but a little more competitive. More details will be at the end of the video, but for now, let's just enjoy your submissions of Warrior Cats on Opposite Day. Opposite of Leader Firestar, Kitty Pet Rusty, which I guess means that Smudge is the one to go out and be a warrior. Good luck, little dude. I guess things work out fine for him. Maybe he'll go on to be Smudge Star one day. What could go wrong? I guess if Smudge is a warrior, Princess could be a warrior too. And now Firestar is the one to give up his kit to join the clans. Which is Little Squirrel Kit. Aw. Or instead of being a wholesome dad, Firestar could go down a completely different path and be the new Blood Clan leader instead of Scourge. And Bone could be Smudge now. But I guess if they're working together, they could also both be in Thunder Clan. Smudge is a bold one now. There are so many options for an opposite Firestar. He could be friends with Tiger Claw. He could be bullying Sandpaw. He could be meeting with Silverstream. So many morally questionable choices. But Greystripe doesn't need Silverstream, considering that he was the one to save her on opposite day. Instead of Tigerstar being evil, how about we have an evil golden flower? A few of you did this one. She would definitely be a rather dramatic villain with some big surprises. Ravenpaw did not catch the snake. The snake caught him. But while Ravenpaw couldn't get a snake, he did get other things. No comment. Well, under the snake logic, Snowkit caught a hawk. Aw yeah. The dog attacked but Swiftpaw survived and Brightheart is a ghost? Very sad. Or alternatively, different cats could go like Cloudpaw with Firmpaw and Ashpaw, or Cinderpaw. She switches roles with Brightpaw. Now Yellowfang, what if she was a sweet old lady? Or what if she was the apprentice and Firestar was the old lady? But the best outcome for her would surely be her having a loving relationship with her son. Either he becomes a medicine cat apprentice, or just isn't awful. But what if Yellowfang became the evil leader instead? Well then too bad for her because Broken Tail has some berries for her. And we also have room for an evil Spotted Leaf. But all this evilness has made Scourge insecure, and now he needs to take comfort in Bone. Maybe go down a new path like becoming ThunderClan leader while his siblings are the true Blood Clan cats. But Scourge's biggest ambition would have to be being big. And unfortunately, Tallstar has become Small Star. Tallstar prefers the opposite day where Jake joins him in Wind Clan. Blue Star, if her kits die and she becomes just like Maple Shade. Oh no. I guess her being friends with Tiger Claw would make sense in that timeline. And Evil Star Clan Blue Star to go with it. Love the Evil Angel design. But in a more wholesome take, we have Stormtail being a decent father. And in a less wholesome take, we have Blue Fur dying to the monster instead of Snow Fur. Now she's a ghost. And Snow Star becomes leader. But honestly, the better opposite for Snow Fur getting hit by a car is Snow Fur attacking cars. Mwahaha, <laughs> revenge. And two more submissions regarding Blue Star's prophecy characters. We have Blue Fur and Thrush Pelt getting together, and Moonflower being cursed instead of Goose Feather. If Crooked Jaw did not reject Maple Shade and became evil, oh dear. But what if he never even met Maple Shade because Rainflower was a good mother? Now that would turn things around. Unless there was a plot twist where she actually hated Oak Kit for being too perfect, then we're sort of back to where we started. Opposite Maple Shade actually succeeded in defeating Reed Shine? Oh no. Opposite Maple Shade should be more of a failure, not more successful. Here's the snake plan backfiring on Maple Shade because Frecklewish got smart and talked to Ravenwing's ghost. And here is a completely different direction for opposite Maple Shade, where she is a sweet angel who talks to the birds. And she pledges to forgiveness. Misunderstandings are just opportunities to make new friends. Plus she has no reason to be mad at any of them, because Birchface actually was her mate in this timeline. There's no conflict to speak of. The only Dawn of the Clan submission we have for this challenge swaps Greywing with Clear Sky and Fox with Petal. Ashfur being a supportive friend for once. Maybe, maybe. Or we could go more extreme and have him flat out be her mate. 
Or she could go nowhere near Ashfur because she switched jobs with Leafpool and became a medicine cat. Options are good. But then, would that make Squirrelflight the perfect mate for Crowfeather? Surprise, surprise. Or maybe Crowfeather isn't even in the equation because he died instead of Feathertail. Or, in a more wholesome outcome, both Feather and Crow survived and had the three as their kits. Okay, now let's make some cats evil. Evil Tawny Pelt takes the place of Hawk Frost, or Evil Mothwing could take the place of Hawk Frost, make Hawk Frost go to the medicine den or something, and then Tawny Star, Bramble Star, and Hawk Star all become leaders. Tiger Star would love that. Soul joins the clans, leaving Rusty to have to do the wacky eclipse shenanigans. Or what if Soul is done with shenanigans and just wanted to chill out? Jayfeather and Holyleaf actually keep the jobs they wanted. Now that is the Jayfeather we all deserved. What if Holyleaf's redemption arc never happened, and she and Fallen Leaves became an evil pair? Now that's epic. If only she had powers, though that would leave Devwing out. The three switching powers. Devwing has chosen Chaos now that she has the only power that's actually cool. Ivy Pool finally taking control of Hawk Frost because their roles are switched. Some Devwing and Ivy Pool mixing around with new stories on both sides. Flame Tail and Jay Feather switch. Rip Jay. The fire scene with Squirrel Flight being the angry one, but we can mix it up even more. Here, Fern Cloud is the cat who gets rejected and Ashfur just wants to have some cute babies. Angry Alderheart. Oh no, what happened to him? Darkstar takes over SkyClan. Disaster ensues. Which all could have been avoided if one star was just a good father and took the darn kit with him to his clan. Bristlefrost hanging out with Shadowsight. Literally the exact opposite of the Broken Coat's writing. Hope to see some more protagonist interactions next arc. Ooh. Evil Shadow Sight, all glowy and stuff, possibly working with Ashfur. Or possibly, he's the one tormenting Ashfur, teasing him about his failed romance and all that. Love it. The opposite of Bristlefrost sacrifice, Root Spring sacrifice. No, that's still really sad. But nice art, it looks like a movie poster. Oh, Bristlefrost was just here the whole time. You unlock the good ending. All right. That concludes all your submissions. So here's the deal. You just saw exactly 84 art pieces related to the Warrior Cats on Opposite Day prompt done by 84 different artists. But a lot of these artists you will see again, and a few of them you will see again and again and again. And which artists you'll see depends on your votes. In each round of the Warrior Cats art show, this is round one, you can vote on the art pieces you liked best and the top 70% most voted will advance. This will continue until we reach our top seven, and after that, it will be single elimination. Until there is a final three, from which we'll name a champion. This episode, you will vote for a top 59 out of our current 84 artists. Go check out the Google form in the description to vote. Click yes on every submission you want to advance, and no on every submission you don't want to. You can vote yes on however many or however few you want to. It does not have to be 59. And this form is completely anonymous, so vote however you feel fit. And please do not share who you voted no on. Our 84 artists were all very generous to lend their time for our entertainment. Please do not give them any unwanted criticism. In short, don't be mean to people. It is required to fill out all 84 questions in order to submit. I know that's a lot, but if I allowed incomplete surveys, there would be a bias towards the people listed first. So if 84 is too much, then by all means don't vote. There's no pressure to. But if you are voting, then thank you for your time. Voting will be open for 72 hours, so three days. So don't wait too long to get your votes in. The results will be revealed in round two of the art show. All right. Bye everyone!